How to use UXPIN or UXPIN tutorial for beginner. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use UXPIN. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to uxpin.com. And if you haven't signed up for UXPIN, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But if you don't know UXPIN, it is a cloud-based design platform primarily focused on user experience and user interface design, in which it's geared towards helping designers to create and prototype digital products such as websites and applications. And this platform offers a range of features including design and prototyping tools, collaboration, component libraries, code generation, responsive design, and testing and feedback. So basically, UXPIN aims to streamline the design process, facilitate collaboration, and create more efficient workflow for designers and design teams working on digital products. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plans that you can avail by simply clicking this pricing option. And below here, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. We have here Essentials, Advanced, Professional, and Company Plan. But below here, you could also see the free plan and enterprise plan that they offer. And now, to access this platform for free, all you need to do is enter your email address in here and just click this button, in which upon doing so, you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, then just click Continue to your free account. And after that, you will be directed on this dashboard but from here the next thing that you need to do is to simply choose your answer or preferences based on their question then just click the next button below here and after that you will be directed on the dashboard of ux pin in which you will see here on the top panel some of the options that you can start navigating starting from projects design system merge or component manager and manage your team option and by simply clicking this projects option on the top panel you will be directed in here, in which it will show you all of your project that you have been created. And if you're looking for a specific project, you could also use the sort or filter button right here, in which you will be able to see some of your project based on the date created, or to modify the project that you're looking for based on their name and other modification filter. And aside from that, by simply clicking these three dots right here, it will show you other options such as to change the name, duplicate, or even put this project into your archive. And of course to delete this project. And if you also want to put your project into groups, just click this project groups button on the top right corner. In which on this pop-up window, it will show you the list of your project that you can group and also your archive projects. Now going back on this page, if you want to create a new project, just click this button plus new project. But before that, you could also navigate on the top panel, the design systems, in which from here, it will allow you to create and manage design system, which is a collection of design guidelines and resources that help maintain consistency and simplify the design process for teams. With this UX pins design system features, designers and developers can ensure that all design assets are consistent across the entire organization making it easier to manage all design and prototyping projects across the entire organization with ease. And to create a design system, just click this button below here. Then it will show you the two options, which is from existing library or to create from scratch. So you have the two options to create design system. And also, the design system tab also allows users to create a single source of truth for their team to design from when working on projects. Now moving on to the other tab is called Component Manager. So basically this feature allows user to manage and modify components and their properties in UXPIN. So it simplifies the process of adding and renaming properties and it's useful for importing and managing NPM components. And by clicking this button, you'll be able to add new library in which on this pop-up window, you can choose to import components from Storybook, import React components, with NPM integration, and you can even request access and import React components or web components with GIT integration. 
And aside from that, you could also navigate on the tab panel, the Manage Your Team option or tab, in which below here, it will allow users to invite team members to collaborate on one or many prototypes, assign roles and permissions to team members, and control who has access to what. And there are six user roles in UXPIN, which is Owner, Admin, Manager, Creator, Collaborator, and Developer. And this feature also allow user to manage team libraries, which are collections of components. And to add new user, all you need to do is to click this Add New User button, and upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window, and all you need to do to add new user is to fill out or enter the email address and even to choose the role of the user that you want to add. And you can even add multiple user by entering multiple email address, but you need to separate by comma. Now going back on this page right here, to start creating a project, just click this new project button and it will show you on this pop-up window. All you need to do is to enter the project name then just proceed by clicking Create New Project button below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. In which from here, it will show you an option to create your project with design with coded components. Or you could also start from scratch or import sketch, images, or documents. But let's say I'm going to choose to start from scratch. By simply clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page. And from here, you will see on this left side panel some of the editing tools that you can use. For instance, this pen, by simply dragging it up or down, or just simply moving your mouse, you will be able to start editing or customizing the images or project that you want to input. And aside from that, you could also navigate other editing tools such as this text, shapes, box, this pen, input, images, and other editing tools that you could also use in creating your own project. And as you can see here on the right side panel, some of your interactions that you could even customize. And if you also want to add pages, just click this plus button on this left side panel. While by clicking documentation, you will be able to start documenting by simply entering here the context that you prefer to document. And aside from that, to change the title of this project, just double click this context on the top panel and start entering the title that you prefer. Now going back on this page right here, you could also start creating your project by importing sketch, images, or documents. In which by clicking on it, all you need to do is to select the files or images from your computer files, and it will show you the result in here. So all you need to do is to wait for it to be uploaded, and to customize the image, just click Edit Design button, then you will be directed again on this page. And from here, you can start customizing using some of these editing tools on the left side panel. We have here pen, shape, boxes, input, images, and other editing tools. So you can use all of those tools to make your project or design more creative. And if you're now done editing or customizing your images, going back on this page, it will show you all of your project that you have been created. So that is just basically how you can use UX PIN. Thank you.